I'm going to just present a few figures of results for 2015 and um, then we'll look at 2016. So, Echo Video. We manage integrated management systems for glass recycling. We are non non-profit and we are subsidized by the Greenpoint recyclers. We manage an efficient system and to make this system even more efficient and we manage the green recycling points throughout Spain and we offer a universal public service based on circular economy principles. Mm, so we educate on the green bins, although some of them uh, get uh, dressed up or painted in different colours if we have local festivals. So um, our key tasks, recycle, prevent and raise awareness. Um, we want to guarantee that all grass, glass is deposited in the green containers and that 100% glass is recycled and we also generate benefits for the environment. We prevent alongside with the bottling companies and we try to prevent as much as we possibly can the generation of waste waste that is ends up in society so we've worked alongside uh, bottle makers for cider bottles beer bottles and so on and so forth and then finally we raise awareness amongst the population at large we also work with the Eureka Foundation and we work on uh, with the horeca, horeca sector, the Horeca sector, in order to uh, raise awareness on uh, recycling in general. In Canary Islands, mm, glass recycling brings the cycle to its logical end. In Grand Canaria, we then produce new glass from all the glass that is uh, collected and then cleaned. Now, over the last six years or so, we have collected 30 more percent glass. And we've also seen a climb in glass collection per person, which is actually above national average. So there is a distinct upward trend. Last year, in 2015, we recycled 33,190 33, tons of glass containers. This was a 6% growth over 2014. That's 15.8 kilograms per person, and that's 60 containers per person. So we were in the list of uh, regions that grew, we were number eight, the eighth fastest growing region. We have one container per every 188 inhabitants. National average is one per 230, so we're above national average here too. This makes it easier for our citizens to find these green glass recycling points. Obviously, if we make it easier for them to identify the glass recycling points, then it's easier for them to recycle glass. Now, consumption of glass containers has fallen by 3% over the last three years, according to uh, figures, but the amount deposited in the bottle banks has risen by 7%. So we're doing a good job, but we want to do even better. Now, uh, nationally, 15.5% are recycled per person. This is a growth of 4.4% 4 over 2014, 59 glass containers per person. So this means that according to 2015 estimates, then we are going to have a 70% recycling rate for glass. This is approximately uh, a two point growth on 2014. 2016 will be about 77.4%. And by 2000. 20, we're asked to recycle 70%, so we are well above our target. In the Canary Islands, what are we doing right now? Well, last year we started a new project called Project Glass Star. Glass Star. Uh, this was basically aimed at Canary Islands hotels. So we have to obviously take into account that 48% of glass containers end up in hotels on the island. 
So we went to about 99% of uh, hotel establishments on the island. And we delivered over 8,200 specific uh, containers to these ho to, uh, hotels. And these buckets are attached to uh, the walls. And therefore, we have this awareness raising campaign that allow people to therefore uh, fill out studies and supply us with the re results. Now, we then carried out over 820 surveys and we have given over 54 different prizes to uh, the hotel. We've given them the Glass Star Award. Now, if any hotel wants to find out, they just have to register on our website and they can find out what their situation is at present. We also have various different actions that we undertake every year. We work alongside the main towns of the Canary Islands. We dress up the bottled banks. We cover them with vinyl uh, plastics to make them look like uh, a carnival. Uh, uh, dressed up as if they're a carnival to raise awareness amongst the population. And we also send out patrols uh, during festivals and carnivals and they get dressed up and they educate people on the issues with regard to recycling. It's obviously quite difficult when we have some kind of festival going on for people to actually go and educate people, but this has been very successful. In fact, they have collected 24, 25 tons of, of glass that has not been deposited in bottle banks. So these are very effective um, glass collection campaigns. We also have people working in local festivals called Romerias, the dances, traditional folklore events. And we also have the St. John bonfires in the middle of summer where people go and pick up uh, and clean up after people's parties. In the rest of Spain, we have also worked alongside TV campaigns. We've been on MasterChef. Agatha Ruiz de la Prada has also been involved in one of our uh, awareness page raising campaigns. We've painted bottle banks pink. And we have also contributed to the cancer awareness campaign, the breast cancer awareness campaign. So, um, what are our goals? Not only for 2016, but for 2020. What we want to do is bring up recycling rates by 2% here and in Europe. Now, we ha have placed our goal at 77%, and we hope that we will reach this goal. And what are we going to do to reach this goal? Well, first of all, nationwide, we have invested 337 million euros between now and 2020. This will obviously help us to improve recycling rates. And in our region, we are going to install nearly 4,000, 3,700 containers over the next five years. We also have various different initiatives to involve the hotel industry. 37% of the Canary Islands councils are involved in this particular initiative. They are delivering surveys to hotels and restaurants. And we have set up these uh, different buckets and four people to use to deposit and we also are setting up uh, bottle banks with wide uh, openings so that people can uh, recycle a lot more. We also have a special summer plan. We have four different municipalities in Canary Islands and obviously they consume much more glass in the summer because this is peak season. Uh, in the Canary Islands, we have seasonal differences, obviously, compared to the rest of Spain. In June, July, August, uh, or perhaps September as well, these tend to be peak periods for the rest of Spain. But here in the Canary Islands, we are visited by tourists all year round. But we did not roll out the special summer plan in the summer months, and we had good results. In fact, we gathered uh, several thousand kilos of uh, glass, more than we normally do. So basically, that is what we do, and that's what we will continue to do. I would like to ask you to, if you use any glass containers, then to deposit in the dedicated bottle banks. Thank you.